Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and, and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters <clears throat> that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people 
the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they inter interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God! But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim, the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. Please be seated and make yourselves comfortable inside the Manila Cathedral. There are, the regular churchgoers must have noticed that there are nurses around and uh, they are from St. Uh, Jude, St. Jude. And uh, later this morning, they will have their capping and pinning and candlelight ceremony. Now, there, I'm sorry, they are not yet nurses, there's nursing students. It will take some more years for them to, be, to become full-fledged. And please allow me to address myself first to the, nurse, to the nursing students, because the gospel has something to say to them. My dear nursing students, you braved the rain to come to the cathedral. I thought that it will be canceled because of the bad weather. But still, you are here, and I congratulate you for that. And this is my challenge, that someday, when you are full-fledged nurses, you will still brave the rain to reach out to your patients. That you will still brave the rain to go to the hospital because you know that there are patients waiting for you, waiting for your care. In other words, be like Jesus in the Gospel. Jesus went home to Capernaum, and he entered the house of Simon to rest, to rest. 
And yet, in spite of his desire to rest, he was confronted with a need. May sakit ang biyanan ni Simon Pedro. Hindi niya sinabi, ano ba yan, pagod na pagod ako, ang dami kong kinausap, nangaral ako, nagturo ako sa sinagoga. Pagkatapos, pag uwi ko ng bahay, ito pa rin ang gagawin ko. He never said those words. But rather, as the gospel told us, he stood over her, the mother-in-law, rebuked the fever, and it left her. He did not consider his own needs. He took care of the needs of others. My dear nursing students, in a world full of selflessness, selfishness, be selfless. In a world full of selfishness, be selfless. The second point is addressed to all of us, to all of you, not only to the nursing students, and that is gratitude. The gospel says, the mother-in-law, once cured of the fever, got up immediately and waited on them. Waited on them. She served them. She has been cured. She has been given strength. And she did that rest. Hindi ba, misal, pagsasabihin natin, yung isang taong galing sa sakit, sasabihin ka, huwag ka masyado magpagod, baka mabinat ka, magpahinga ka. Hindi ba, ganun ang sinasabi natin. Pero yung sa Ebanghelyo, yung biyanang babae ni Pedro, no, hindi nagpahinga, kundi tumayo at naglingkod. Yun ang kanyang tanda ng pagpapakita ng pasasalamat. You see, we need that. Gratitude. Grateful hearts. Sometimes we fall to, into temptation that we are entitled to this. Yung sense of entitlement natin, kumisan, kasing lakas ng bagyo eh. Di ba? Dapat akin to. Dapat ibigay to sa akin. I would like to remind you that we do not deserve anything because everything is gift. And the only response is gratitude. In a world full of entitlement, be grateful. Kaya mga minamahal kong kapatid, dalawang bagay ang tinuturo sa atin ang hindi maging makasarili at huwag kalimutang magpasalamat. Amen. Please stand. Like the people who brought to Jesus all of who were sick or possessed by demons, we bring before our Heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. To every petition, our response would be, Divine Physician, heal us. Divine Physician, heal us. That the Church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men and women of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician, heal us. us. That the world may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician, heal us. Heal us. That those who suffer from <clears throat> from depression and anxiety may find in Christ a sure anchor as the way, the truth, and the life. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician heal, us. heal us. That those suffering through illness, for whom life has become an intolerable burden, may see meaning in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician heal, heal us. us. That the dead and those who mourn may have hope in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine physician, physician, heal us. Almighty Father, watch over your family, protect us, and keep us in your care. For all our hope is in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy 
we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just an announcement. Today is the, uh, Wednesday, and uh, as we practice every Wednesday, we will have our Wednesday family rosary tonight at 9 p.m. And the host's community is the Diocesan Shrine of St. Paul of the Cross in Marikina City, in front of the image of Nuestra Señora de Fatima of Marikina. It is a canonically crowned image. So I invite you to join us online no, with the praying of the rosary at 9 p.m. Thank you. Good morning, Father. Most Reverend Father, we from St. Jude College, College of Allied Health Sciences, present with joy this symbol for which we work during the college days, college years of our students. We ask you to pray that we, it will always remind us of our ideals to serve. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Father, you are the fountain of knowledge and virtue. Grant this, your sons and daughters, whom you filled with divine and human gifts, to dedicate themselves to you and the people with unfailing generosity and love. We, bless, we ask you to bless these symbols and let the symbols be a reminder to all of those who wear them of their mandate to serve. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. 
Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.